Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to give you guys a in-depth review on these beautiful sleeper party pajamas. And if you were around during 2020 on TikTok, then you would notice what these PJs are. They are the iconic PJs that you saw a ton of influencers wear during 2020 in their little dance TikToks. I think the ones that are most iconic for the brand Sleeper are the blue and the red piped ones with the blue feathers or maybe they're red feathers. But anyways, those ones are very iconic. They were very popular. If you're not familiar with the brand Sleeper, they make very luxurious, very beautiful, very over the top lounge slash sleepwear. So their brand is called The Sleeper. They are based out of Ukraine. It, I believe, is like a smaller company and their stuff used to be made in Ukraine. However, now if you buy anything going forward, I'm pretty sure it's made in Turkey, but you should double check that. I just know that the party PJs, so the line that I'm wearing, which is their most iconic line, the party PJs are specifically made in Turkey now. So let's go over the details of what to look at when you are purchasing these PJs. So the PJ top is literally just a regular button up PJ. It has a nice little collar on the on the front here and it does have piping. It's easier to see when you have a pair that's like a color, but when it's just black on black, which is what I have, you don't see it. The buttons in the front going down the middle are made of mother of pearl and then you do have these beautiful ostrich cuffs here that are removable. So you do need to remove these if you are to wash the pajamas because you don't want to be washing the ostrich feathers and they are very easily removable. You just have to undo the button. So there's, let's see if you can see, there's a button right here. It just goes, there's buttons all the way around the cuff and then you just button in, unbutton it. They're really simple. It's actually quite a genius design. I think it makes the arm look very seamless and the legs look very seamless. So with the pants, that being said, it's just an elastic waistband, no pockets. They are a very thin pant material. However, your pajama top kind of covers this front, so you're more than concealed and you look pretty good. The pockets here on the front of the pajama top, you can open them up and then use them as a functional pocket. I just have mine sealed still. When you pan down to the pants, you'll see that there is a really nice flared it's also like a nice baggy flowy kind of pajama bottom and um yeah it's a really nice big loud ostrich feather ring around your leg so that's what the pants look like i'm about 130 pounds at the moment my waist is about 28 inches my jean size is probably like a 26 27 i typically wear a size small medium on top if that helps at all i'm probably an overall size six at the moment so if that helps at all those are my measurements i am wearing a size extra small now that being said you might have looked at me when i was wearing the pjs and i was showing you guys off the pants and stuff and thinking Girl, they're like loose on you, but they're not as baggy and like long as they are on everyone else. And the reason for that is because my PJs actually shrunk during hand washing. So these pajamas, everything about them screams luxe, okay? They are handmade. They have ostrich feathers. They have mother of pearl buttons. They have really nice construction, okay? These are handmade PJs. And it's not the construction and craftsmanship that I'm going to be complaining about. It's actually solely the material that they're made out of. So these retail for about 500 Canadian dollars and I actually got them for about half price on Essence, uh, which is a Montreal-based e-commerce website here in Canada. So Essence actually is a stockist for Sleeper and if you are located in Canada you know that we don't get a lot of things but Essence specifically stocked Sleeper and then they went on sale and I thought girl this is the best time to buy them because I don't want to pay $500 for them but I'm happy to wrap my crazy little brain and buy them for 
the $300 price point that they went on sale for. So I bought them probably during December, like Boxing Week of 2023. I had them in mind to wear to a trip. And I was like, ooh, I'm gonna do like a theater night where I go to the theater, I'm gonna wear them to dinner, and it's gonna be like a whole mood. Because girl, I don't like going out, okay? So I don't like dressing up, but I sure as hell love being in PJs. So the fact that I could be in some fabulous PJs, throw on a pair of like heels or something, and it looks really put together, because I've seen that. Like I see girls do that all the time. I thought, that is up my alley. I will do that. So. I had them in mind, I wore them for that trip, it was lovely. My only con at the time of wearing them back then was that when I sat down for those hours that I was sitting watching Aladdin and then, you know, going to dinner, this area on the thighs did a lot of wrinkling. And you might think, oh, Antonia, it's because like you bought a size too small. No, 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 no. These pants at the time when I bought them before washing, they were huge on me, okay? They fit really baggy. Hindsight, if I were to buy them again, I could definitely do a size small, but just prefacing, like I wore them, they were very big on me. So the material, it's just doesn't like live up to their looks expectations in my opinion it's made of 100% viscose I feel like they could have picked like a 100% like cotton poplin that was like a little bit more thicker like some sort of cotton material that was like a little bit more thicker a little bit less prone to wrinkling and just overall like even when you look at the pocket it just looks kind of flimsy and I don't know something about them when I first got them I looked at them and I was like mm, not the best material but like I already bought them and it was on my list that I wanted them for so long that I was just like I'll just overlook the issue with the material I will make sure I steam them and and then wear them before I wear them out and all will be fine but I got home I washed them hand washed in cold water with very gentle mild detergent and then I laid them flat to dry and they shrunk which is really odd because I do know that the label says dry clean only however a lot of times you can just hand wash your items because that is more gentle than actually going to the dry cleaners. If you don't know how dry cleaning works, look it up and you'll see. But the process is actually a lot more gentler when you just hand wash your pieces, okay? I don't know why it shrunk. I thought that was super weird. I emailed Sleeper directly because this is their product. And I said, hey, I bought these off of Essence, which is your stockist, but unfortunately they have shrunken and what I really wanted was just a straight exchange I didn't want my money back I just wanted them to send me a new pair because maybe the pair that I have specifically the material I don't know the batch of where this viscose came from it just wasn't good and I wanted them to do a straight exchange but they were like hey sorry because you didn't buy them from us we are not going to exchange them for you also, I do want to mention if you do buy them off of Essence, you don't get that like cute little dust bag that they um, wrap their pajamas in if you buy directly from them. So just keep that in mind if you wanted them for like, you know, a gift for someone, you don't get that like really cute packaging. Um, but they did say, no, we can't help you because you bought them off of Essence. And I was like, well, I can prove to you that I bought them very recently. Like I can send you everything, I can send you the documentation and then you can contact Essence if you want to verify that I actually purchased them. And then they were like, no, we can't help you, but here's 15% off. And I was just like, girl, I don't wanna buy another pair of $500 viscose pajamas. I just wanted you to straight exchange them so I had a pair that like fit me properly. And then maybe if I actually dry clean them that they would not shrink, I don't know because I don't have the choice to test that theory out. But anyways, um, they basically kept saying no. I was like, you guys should be taking care of your product because it is your product. Anyways, they were like, nah, girl, we ain't helping you. So I was like, okay, crazy. I email Essence basically and I was like, hey, um, I want a straight exchange. I do not want money back. I just want a straight exchange. My PJ shrunk. Can you talk to 
sleeper for me because they basically were like if essence emails us then we can like maybe work something out anyways long story short essence was like hey just send them back and we will refund you a little bit sad because i do want to keep a pair of these pajamas i still think they are fabulous but unfortunately the resolution that they have come up with is just to send them back and maybe in the future I will repurchase a pair but I wanted to make this video just in case you were looking and you thought that these PJs are fabulous yes they do look fabulous but just buyer beware because the material itself is not that great so when you're paying that much money for a pair I know you've seen like a lot of influencers wear them Margot Robbie has been wearing them like crazy she looks fabulous in them but just keep that in mind. Kristen Bell wears them a lot too, by the way. Keep Just keep that in mind that they're wearing them. I don't know who's cleaning them for them, but it's not themselves. So buyer beware because I feel like you should still be able to just hand wash items in cold water, okay? In cold water, in a gentle detergent. I think you should be able to do that. I wash my Hermes silk scarves at home all the time. So I don't know something about the quality issue on their garment itself is there um, not talking about the craftsmanship alone but the garment itself definitely is a con and it is enough for me to rethink about ever purchasing from them again so I hope that helped follow me on Instagram underscore hello Harley follow me on TikTok at hello Harley and I'll see you guys in the next video bye